Masih banyak potensi dan ruang kerjasama yang boleh diterokai dan dimanfaatkan bersama antara Sabah dan Sarawak selain daripada kerjasama dari segi politik, ekonomi dan sosial demi kepentingan rakyat kedua negeri ini. Ketua Menteri Sabah Datuk Seri Musa Aman berkata, sebagai dua negeri berjiran, sudah tentu kedua negeri mempunyai banyak persamaan dan keserasian dari segi sejarah, budaya dan sosial ekonomi serta bidang-bidang lain. Menurutnya, banyak perkara boleh dilakukan oleh kedua-dua negeri untuk manfaat rakyat bersama. Selain itu, beliau turut menyambut baik dan menyokong usaha dan langkah awal yang diambil oleh Tan Sri Adenan Satem dalam beberapa isu melibatkan kepentingan rakyat khususnya di Sarawak. Tuan-tuan dan perempuan, saya menganggap lawatan Datuk Petinggi iaitu sudah tentu dapat mengukuhkan lagi tadi persaudaraan setiap kawan yang sekalian wujud di antara rakyat Sarawak dan Indonesia Raya Sabah. Jadi sudah tentu kedatangan satu petinggi ke Sabah amat dialalukan dan dinantikan. Dan saya juga berterima kasih karena sebenarnya lautan pertama Datuk petinggi ke Sabah semenjak kemudian jawatan Datuk Menteri Sarawak. Sebagai negeri-negeri yang berjiran, yang begitu dekat, sudah tentu banyak persamaan di antara Sabah dan Sarawak dari segi budaya, tradisi <tuh> tapi saya percaya banyak lagi yang boleh kita terokai boleh kita ada potensi yang kita boleh usaha bersama untuk sama-sama kita memajukan negeri kita masing-masing so, tentu dengan adanya ketahanan ini dengan adanya perjumpaan kita dapat bertukar-tukar fikiran idea dan juga apa juga yang kita rasa baik untuk kita bersama. Petang tadi saya dapat berjumpa dengan uh, yang berhormat Datuk Petinggi bersama Datin Petinggi dan uh, bincang dan beliau juga sikit sebagai pendengar terlibat dengan hutan dan juga dan juga pelancongan. Jadi inilah cara kita di mana kita sering bertukar-tukar pandangan, idea macam mana kita boleh tolong menolong, bantu-bantu antara satu dengan lain. Ini tradisi kita di antara itu. Karena bagi kita di antara Sabah, Sarawak dan juga Brunei, kita sentiasa menunjukkan satu persefahaman yang begitu baik, yang begitu tinggi, sehingga kita terus berusaha untuk memastikan macam mana kita boleh bantu dan menolong di antara satu di lain. Inilah usaha kita yang berterusan dan memang pun kita dengan semua kenal uh, dan kita uh, sering berjumpa di antara satu di lain. Hubungan erat di antara kerajaan Sabah dan Sarawak perlu diperkuku serta diperkembangkan pada masa akan datang menerusi pelbagai bidang kerjasama ekonomi, sosial dan budaya. Ketua Menteri Sarawak Tan Sri Adenan Satem berkata, Kedua-dua negeri itu bukan sahaja berkongsi persamaan dari aspek latar belakang sejarah dan budaya, tetapi juga merupakan negeri contoh dalam amalan konsep satu Malaysia. Menurutnya, beliau menganggap Sabah dan Sarawak sebagai adik-beradik kerana telah berkongsi banyak perkara. Tambahan pula peranan Ketua Menteri adalah berbeza dengan Menteri Besar dari segi bidang kuasanya. Beliau berkata demikian ketika berucap sempena majlis makan malam bersama Ketua Menteri Sarawak di sini. The relationship between us must be developed every year to come because we have so much in common. I was struck this afternoon by the briefing given by the forestry people on your timber industry. <coughs> We ought to follow your example. Yeah. I know in years past, the timber industry in Sabah was one big mess. Sorry for me saying, saying that. It was one big mess. But then the mess is gone and is well, well regulated. 
and ready, well done. So we ought to follow your footsteps in this area. There is one area, of course, we will not follow your footsteps, and that is to allow so many outside people to occupy. <laughs> that we will not follow. That we will not follow. I always say when DPI come, can be easy. Jangan slow clap macam sama. No, no necessity for asking Royal Commission of Inquiry. I appreciate Joseph Byron for having to handle this matter. It's not an easy one. So um, we will not follow your example. <laughs> Definitely. Unfortunately, of course, you're quite near uh, the islands and the Philippines, etc., etc., and in the tradition. But we want to get away as far as possible. <laughs> we want to get away as far as possible with this one. And we have problems, of course, with Indonesian Kalimantan people, but not as big as in uh, Sabah. I was surprised. There's a big jump in your population. 30, 30 years ago, I think it was, Sabah's population was less than a million. 600 or 700 thousand. Now it's four to five million. That cannot be just a natural increase of Sabah. There must be people coming in and so on. So we don't want that kind of population increase in uh, Sabah. The other matter is cooperation among us and the Bim Yaga and so on. Bolin with Brunei together, so all geographically we are the same. Geographically we are the same. And even in the old, old days, I think even the British were proposing some sort of confederation uh, in the colonial time. Of course, it didn't happen, but overcome by Tungku's announcement about Malaysia. But then, that reflects our close relationship. The other thing I wish to mention is, <clears throat> why don't Sabah people join our regatta? Join our regatta? Well, you think that's funny? Yes, it is funny. Maybe because Sabah people don't know how to row a boat. <laughs> But Brunei joined our Baram Regatta, Kuching Regatta, almost every year. And they send their boats and so on. So, make it a Borneo event. Make it a Borneo event. And then why don't, why don't we combine Kinabalu and Mulu? You have Kinabalu, of course, we have Mulu. One go to go up in the air, one to go down on the ground. <laughs> Very attractive to tourists. But then uh, you have to take a flight to KK or Miri. And we must also follow example in the field of tourism. I noticed Banya Orang Asin, <coughs> Mat Saleh, Orang Putin come to come to fly. And so many tourists, and there are so many flights in and out. We are nothing competitive. We want to increase, we want to be a competitor to you. <laughs> Friendly competition. The more, the merrier. And we have Kinabalu, etc., to offer. We have Bulu to offer. And no, no, no better package than that package, Kinabalu and Bulu, on the island of Borneo. Don't take out the word Borneo. Borneo is important, like a trade name or something, you know. Everybody knows Borneo, but every time they come here, they say Borneo or Bhutan and so on and so forth. And you put the lie, the lie that some foreign interests say that you are killing the Orangutan. You have a few thousand and you have to look well after them. Maybe we follow your example of Sapilok. I think quite famous, like Sapilok. 
So any, if anyone want to visit their cousin, go ahead. Uh, visit those people. But Europeans, they like this sort of thing. They like nature. They like culture. I mean, don't be another Singapore, like, you know what I mean? We've got something unique to offer, the jungle, the tropical jungle and so on, and you have preserved the jungle very well. That we want to follow. Right now we are fighting <coughs> with legal loggers and so on. And we have achieved some degree of success, but it's a very big problem. Some people look at the jungle, they only see Kayu. That's all they see. Kayu and uh, dollar sign. They don't see the beauty of the jungle. So preserve that one. That is the heritage we give. We have be inherited from our children and grandchildren. Preserve your environment. I want to follow your Danu. Just like balloon in somebody. I want to create another, another Danu as competition to your Danu. That's the Usun Apau Islands. Usun Apau Islands and uh, waterfall, etc., etc. Perhaps even more beautiful than uh, than uh, Danu. <laughs> I dare say that in contact with the Manula because I have friends here who <laughs> can <laughs> But anyway, the emphasis that I want to give is better cooperation in years to come. After all, we belong to the same party. They call it Barista National or something. <laughs> we belong to the same party, we have the same purpose, maybe under different names and so on. I don't want to explain to you why we don't want Amno and Sarawak. <laughs> <laughs> if you think me all night long to tell you why, I don't think you are interested. But as I said uh, uh, earlier, there is already Amno in Sarawak, except the name is different. The purpose is the same, so there you are, leave sleeping dogs alone. <laughs> so that we will not be involved in their quarrel of the era. <laughs> Is a harpist, harpist. <laughs> you know, Najib talks about one Malaysia. He talks about it, but we in Sabah have practiced it already. <laughs> we practice it already. We don't have to tell us. We tell, we tell them. The amount of intermarriage in Sabah and Sarawak and the understanding between the various religions. I mean, you have a 30 over communities, and you live in peace. They got only three of them. <laughs> Malayu, China, India, and a bit of Arabaski. They had a few lessons to learn from us, not just the other way around. <laughs>